This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and we are here today for another live review of Project Cars 2. And again, I'm kind of enjoying this format. It's allowing you guys to partake in the review process the way I approach things. And when I get a new game, new piece of software, hardware, anything actually, it's not as simple as plug and play and just get down to business like most of us get to do on Christmas morning or our birthday or whenever we get a new gift or prize for sim racing. Anyway, but for me, I actually do have to break things down and concentrate on my task at hand, which is getting the notes in my brain or on a pad about what the sim is made of and what makes it special, unique, its pros, its cons, and all that kind of stuff. Hello, Pablo, Hompus, and El Bucho. Thank you for joining the stream. So with Project Cars 2, obviously I'm late. I, I, I still have to decide if I'm going to do a full-blown review or if when I'm late on the title, maybe this is just the process that we're going to have to go with. When I get it well in advance, it gives me time to put together a proper uh, review. But in this case, being late, it's out there. You're already playing it yourselves. It's a matter of how do I approach things. So when you do watch a review of something in advance, you'll see the process I go through and how I look at things and how I'll do things that aren't necessarily the same you do in career mode. I have to make certain sacrifices as a reviewer. So, yes, this is the CSL Elite wheel for the Xbox. Well, I've got the Xbox, the Elite P1 racing wheel on the CSL Elite base. So this is the $159 wheel rim, not the $89 wheel rim. Uh, it makes it Xbox One compatible. I'm playing on the PC today. I'm using Club Sport pedals, so I'm throwing the big boy pedals at it. And I'm using the Fnatic H-Pattern uh, shifter as well. One of the things I really wanted to test today was some of the heel toe, some of the clutch and gearbox action like we did with Forza the other day. Actually, that was just yesterday. Um, yes, Kyber's talking about using VR with Project Cars 2. And I have to confess, prior to having it here at the studio, I have done more VR driving with Project Cars 2 than I have on my own. And on the Jack Spade force feedback files, which Kyber's also talking about, I've heard mixed reviews on that, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is I, I've calibrated the wheel in-game. I've mapped the controls, which was really difficult. I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it was clunky. Uh, I should have done it online, but we would have been here for 20 minutes just trying to get it all calibrated and mapped. And I'm not even sure I have all of it completely done. So... Uh, Pablo, and we're going to talk about that a little bit once we get driving. We're going to find out what we think on the sim level, how much it feels like a sim versus just a racing game or an arcade title. Jordan, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. And I'm having a lot of fun with the live streams. It's allowing me to show things and present it in a different manner. I love the edited shows with the close-up footage and all the great you know, camera work and, and even game capture that I'll do and take the time to do. But there's something different about the live flavor, you guys being able to make comments, ask questions during the review. Um, disregarding price, I would go with the V3s. They're made of uh, a, a higher caliber metal, we'll call it, and they're they're a better, better pedal set. So disregarding price, I do prefer the Club Sport V3s to the Elite Load Cell. Um, but I don't know if that's a fair question. <laughs> um... Yeah, I've loved Project Cars 2 from what I've played, I, I have to admit. And, and again, we can do... Yeah, El Bucho, I am on the latest version of the firmware for the CSL. And I believe I have my FEI at 10 coming off of Forza yesterday. Yeah, I'm at 10, so I have this thing as quiet as it can be. Um... So, and that's something we can try out. I'm not going to do the Jack Spade Force Feedback today, but we will try that maybe in another stream. And I don't want to waste your guys' time as I download and learn things other than the game or, or title itself. And from a reviewer perspective, that's the kind of stuff that is um, next level, we'll call it. That's the kind of stuff that you're going to do... Um, after you've learned the game. That's that's aftermarket stuff, not the way it came out of the box, which is what I usually am trying to review in all fairness to the manufacturers. Um, El Bucho, let me pull up the description of the Fey. Um, bear with me here. I will get you guys my center screen. 
as soon as I get it on there. Um, so the Fanatic CSL Elite, since we are using that, I don't mind taking a slight diversion real quick. Uh, let me just get to the website, and then I'll change the graphic for you guys. Awesome, the big one. That's great. That's great. I love doing those. I mean, I know I'm not the best driver in the world. I'm a good driver. Uh, but I think just seeing what people do and, and, and taking certain things into account before you even head out will go a long way. Um, all right, I'm going to downloads here. Let me bring you guys in on what I'm seeing. And hello, Norway. Uh, bear with me. Where was the description? I need to get the manual. I hope this... Why am I not in English? It says I am. Why is it acting all weird? Okay, bear with me, you guys. Uh, F-A... F-E-I is one of the new settings uh, under the hotkey, uh, under the, the tuning menu. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. FEI. This parameter adjusts the intensity of the force effects and can make effects more smooth. Off is very smooth and low noise, while 100 is very sharp and direct. Oh, that's up to 100? Let's double check that. So when we were talking about that vibration noise, yeah, I'm at 100. So it's in increments of 10. So we went up to full FEI, which is going to make it as quiet, low noise, very sharp and direct. Oh, no, no, it's the other way around. I'm sorry. Bear with me. This is a new setting, guys. So we'll play around with that and hear how much wheel noise the wheel changes as we drive. Anyway, let's get on with things. Let's get down to business and get to the game. I will need you guys to check in with me on audio because as soon as I go to this, I no longer can see the stream. And if there are any problems with the stream whatsoever, you guys are gonna have, you guys will have to let me know. Um, that might be only for the CSL Albucho because of the noise factor because this thing does make quite a vibration noise. Um... Pete, I, I, I prefer F1 style. Little sip of the coffee real quick. All right. One thing I did want to do that we really didn't get into, and a big factor for me, especially when uh, uh, testing a new game, especially the more towards arcade it is, the more this stuff here is very critical to me, and that is the fun factor, the... Immersion, not so much of the sim, but the game. How much does this game suck you in and make you want to keep playing? And a lot of times we're talking career mode, we're talking the grind in some cases. How much does it feel like a grind versus how inspiring is it? So it looks like I have nothing going there. We're going to start yep. a new career real quick. And we'll be Sean Cole and SMC. And we are from the USA. Create. Every motorsport hero needs to start somewhere. Can you guys where will you audio? begin? Okay. This is where you'll need to decide whether you want to begin at the very bottom in carts and race your way up through the tiers to the very pinnacle of motorsports in tier one. Or simply jump straight into your favorite motorsport and begin from there. And I did on the Xbox do karting and I was warned by somebody else, don't do the karting, whatever you do. This looks a little bit different though. I'm not 100% sure, so... FR, Formula Rookie, Karting, or Janetta Junior's Challenge as our three choices at the beginning of career mode, it looks like. And to answer your question, this is the CSL Elite wheelbase for the PS4, really, but I have the Xbox One rim on it. Um, yes, I think the black one is a little bit better than the blue one, to be perfectly clear. What does the M? Michael, Pete. I almost didn't know what you meant there. Michael is my middle name. Yes, this wheel can be made to work on any system. You just have to buy the proper wheel rim, and you're in business. So let's go with Formula Rookie for me. Nobody seemed to chime in on that, so I'm going to go with Formula Rookie. 
game narrator is louder than me. Thank you. I will make an adjustment to that. Let's wait till we're driving. And maybe now these sounds are probably close. So how is our mix right there? Now that you've chosen your motorsport, it's time to decide which series yeah, you'll beat. start your career in. The series structure varies according to which motorsport you chose. Some offer multiple starting points, others oh, um, have a single I's, one, uh, while Mizla, others will sorry, offer just Mizla, a single I, series sorry, by itself. All right, let's do the US Championship. That makes sense, right? Now that you've chosen your car, it's time to choose your livery. The livery you choose will also... Oh, I cut him off. All right, let's see here. I like that guy. The final step to launching your motorsport career is this, your first contract. If you're happy with your selections, go ahead and sign. Once you do that, your ultimate driver journey is all set to begin. All right, we've signed a contract. The career dashboard is the main hub for managing your career. Under the home tab is everything related to the current course series you're participating in. Here, you'll be able to head onto the track for each round, view the event calendar, check emails from your team and others, view your series standings, and read news headlines from your prior races. This is a critical thing to me. Uh, again, the more it leans towards arcade, the more I want this. Not just for me playing it, because the more it makes it... Er, earlier, someone asked, do I play other games? I said, yeah, I play World of Warships and I play uh, Planet Coaster. And when I play other types of games, I expect more. I mean, I think of sim racing, I do it as a hobby and a sport. When I'm doing this, I want it to suck me in. When a game is made for the masses, when I say masses, millions of sales instead of hundreds of thousands of sales or a million sales, they need it to have that mass appeal where anyone who plays it gets drawn in. This to me is fun. This is the kind of stuff that is missing from an iRacing or even an Assetto Corsa R Factor 2. So, um, we can get right down to business here. This is the final review of the round you're about to enter. Here you can con- I'm gonna turn them down just a little bit, you said, so we'll see how that does. And... Figure which sessions you want to participate in, as well as their length. Once you're ready, hit start and get out onto the track. All right. All right, here we are back at uh, Long Beach. Thank you, big one. Yes, and, and El Bucha. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for the, the support on the conversation so I don't have to necessarily answer all those side questions. I'm here for that, but that's arrived. why I love having Your you guys very around, first too. career race. Before the race starts, take a moment to make any final adjustments to your vehicle setup. I can change pause, tires, so and finalize any the race, the sound is ready, atrocious, just let me know and I'll pause. And get onto and... the track, and good luck out there. Car stalled because I was. Go, go, go. Oh. Musk, I'm not sure about that. So remember, you won't have much traction on the outlap. You just leave the tires up to before you start pushing. Alright, clutch works, gear shift worked. I'm gonna take it really easy at first, you guys. Don't mind me. I wanna be fair. Uh, it's the reason for it being that I'm on the H pattern. I want to know how sensitive it is. Left foot braking when I can. properly at first, waiting to find out what causes a misshift. I gotta tell you, this is a beautiful version of Long Beach. Thanks for the heads up, Jarwick. Back doesn't. Uh, I can't remember. I was, I'm comparing it to Forza. 
It's a little muted right now. Hi, Kobe. feels a lot more natural than forks off, so since that's what we were driving just yesterday, like getting in and driving is a much more natural experience. Give me an hour with forks and I start to nail the physics in my mind and in my hand-eye coordination. Whoa. This just came right to me. The force feedback is not super active, so you can see it's not doing a lot of jumping around. That could be our settings. Whoop, almost missed shifted that one. Yeah, I might have turned it too low for this game. There's a big difference in AI between single player. He's going to defend pretty strong. Kobe, can you get a link to that? I've had a lot of people talk about it. I've had some people say it's not all that, though. <laughs> Shifting's nice. We're gonna get fifth. Oh, we don't have a fifth gear in that car. All right, I'm gonna shift without the clutch now. I blipped. No problem. I'm gonna have to check settings to see how critical that is. I don't know if I changed anything on that level. I did map it. Whoops, I'm back to using the clutch. Yeah, I'm not using the clutch. It could be the car, too. I... Now, it didn't make that shift. Oh, didn't like that. No clutch. I'm gonna try blipping with no clutch. seems to shift quicker and more reliably if you blip. I didn't need the clutch. Now it might also be different from car to car. I can't help it. I'm doing heel toe again. Whoa, and then I blew that one. Alright, there's a miss shift. Just 
job holding it down, no problem that time. So it's a little temperamental when you don't clutch. Come on, Slowpoke. We're gonna have to crank up the AI, perhaps. We're still number one on the board. Looks like we're just in practice. Let's go ahead and end the session. Let's see what these guys are made of in a crowd. The pit box main menu is where you prepare for the upcoming session. Take the time to edit your car setup, pit strategy, watch other competitors drive, <coughs> make adjustments to your game options, or just skip the current session altogether. When you put it, you just drop it in and it automatically does all your settings. Does it change any of your mappings or any ill effects on that end? And do they have a recommended wheel rotation for that as well? Okay, skip to the end. We're going to skip to the end real quick. We can do the... anything. Any changes we'll consider, we'll do that after this session. We'll go do a quick qualifying. Qualifying determines your placement on the starting grid for the race. The faster the time you set in qualifying, the higher you'll be up on the grid. This is often... Ooh, it looks like the weather's a little cooler. I'm not doing anything. I think it's on auto. Yep. Oh, I want to change some settings. I'm playing it on the PC right now. I'm not Steady sure if that question... Outlet. I'm not sure if that question was for me or somebody else. Those are the same banners that are at that track, by the way. Bubba Burger, King Taco, Tamiya. Whoa, whoa, locked him up. That was nice. because I'm pushing it like when I got off the track but I'm on cold. Yeah, I want to know that about pit lane as well. It's definitely slipperier. That could be the cool weather. It could be me pushing it really hard on cold tires. All right, we're gonna have to make sure we go to manual pit for sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm all, it's all slippery, Tom. I was all hooked up before. Downshifted too early for that. Oh, in the menu, I just have to hit escape and go to options. I'm in the zone. I can't stop the zone. Oh, come on. Don't take that line. Got a little glitchy right there. I'm throwing a lot at my computer, though, so I don't blame the game right there. But that was one of those moments you're going to get it. Oh, find 
out how much that damage hurt the car. I should have hurt it a lot. I've got a cockeyed wheel. It's turned right. Not terrible, though. The car seems mostly okay. That was a pretty hard bump. I wouldn't call that a scrub. We are one on the board already, so let's just go ahead and advance this car's jump. Let's go ahead and crash it just for the fun of it. <laughs> Yeah. We got nothing. No gearbox. No reverse. Maybe it didn't map reverse. I gotta double check that. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the box and advance. P1, you'll be starting from the front tomorrow. Cracking job. Alright, let's see here. This is where it gets really clunky. If you use a mouse, things move around, you make settings, so no assistance, no driving assist. Um, so far that's not working. I only... Uh, Driving the line off, off. Alright, that all looked good. And controls we're okay with. We're gonna do, maybe we'll do the force feedback later. Performance? No. Where is the auto pit lane? and stuff. I don't see... Oh, it has a lot of things turned off right now because we're mid-race, it seems. So we'll finish this one off and then after this, this race... This is the first race of your career. Remember one thing. To finish first, you first have to finish. They're all gone. This better not be a very long race. Yeah, I can't play against them this easy. Better weather. So the weather was playing a huge role in that handling. And I can tell you that. So when I'm looking at it, review... That's one thing I see right off the bat. Do you guys want to see five laps of this, or should I get out and change it? The other thing we could do is just pull over and let them all by. I can set a lap time so you guys would know what I do at Long Beach in this car. This is really nice. I'm enjoying this a lot. On a sim level, it's absolutely more sim than Forza. No brainer there. Graphics are still amazing, but not quite as good as Forza but some of the best graphics you're going to play on. This is really fun, really fun. You 
can push it hard and it's not as difficult. But look at that. That was a moment that you're going to have in the hardcore sim and not have it in arcade sim. That was real. Pushing it too hard. Way too hard. We don't have reverse mapped. You damaged the suspension. Pits if you're struggling with it. Alright, we're gonna have to do some work now, huh? Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Crap, I stalled it again. Shit, I don't have reverse. Can we map reverse? Damn. That's what you get for pushing too hard, though. Uh, controls. Configuration. Assignments. Uh, vehicle. It's so weird trying to move things around here. Bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. It's so weird trying to navigate. There's reverse gear. That'll help. Alright, sorry about that. Boy, now I have my work cut out for me. I'm not restarting. I gotta... Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Do I have any car left? Oh, my car's a mess. No, that did not go according to plan. All right, we're just gonna finish this off. I wanna move the chat real quick and see if I can where the lap counter is. Oh, shit. <laughs> that didn't go as planned either. I don't see a lap counter anywhere on my HUD. Uh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Oh, I should have gone down pit lane. Yeah, very weird, AJ. I double, triple checked. This car's a mess. driving a crippled car. That's hateful. giving me a meatball. I wonder if it's going to black flag me. We'll find out. That's cool to know, too. This thing's a mess. I like this base quite a bit. We're getting some knocking noise now that the car is hurt. Feel it, I'm assuming you guys can hear it. <laughs> Compared to the 3.5 you're running, it's 3.5. Uh, Jordan, I'll double check to raise rotation. be 
is CSL Elite with an Xbox, the uh, CSL Elite P1 steering wheel. Compromised, but still driving. I'm using the Fanatic H pattern, the SQ, the, it's a sequential and an H pattern, but I have it in H pattern right now. I love this version of Long Beach. Box, box, box. Yeah, we'll check all that out after this race, Jordan. We're going to do a few changes to the settings after this race. I think I'm going to make the career mode racing shorter just to cycle more events than... Gavin, my car was horribly hurt and yeah we were doing a lot of sliding earlier and putting it on the twitchy edge for sure racing is about results um, and this is where you can see how you did AJ will talk off the listed uh, in order of their finishing camera. positions along with that I'll give you a you second the email to send to scored, as well as various other bits of info related to each driver and their race hello Czech Republic if the series assigns team points, hello Germany you'll also see how the team score need to team. add some places all right I didn't hear what he said we didn't do very well though so that sucked for me uh, we got to see some damage though that was good um, Got to see that once the AI got by me and had a big lead, they weren't going to just come to a stop and let me catch back up. Um, all right, let's leave this real quick. I want to go to the proper options. Uh, it's the Fanatic uh, 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 SQ shifter. Okay, let's go to options. I want to go to a few things here. Let's go back to this. No braking, no steering, off, full damage, yes, authentic, real, auto, no, penalties on, manual pit stop, yes, we're going to do that, and, okay, that looked good, now we want to go to controls, and uh, force feedback is what we want to look at. Oops. See, this is what kills me about this. Alright, so I'm at 100 gain, 50 volume, 50 tone, 50 FX, 
point forty menu spring strength. That's right there, but I'm, it's not switching. I haven't figured out what moves the menus. Whoops. Ooh, shoot. What did I have it on? Immersive. That's what I wanted on. All right. Does that answer your question there on force feedback, guys? Uh, the other thing I wanted to check was AI. Was it the wrong wheel? I had that. What the hell? Oh, I must have changed that just then because I had it on my wheel. Whoops. Fanatic. I do like the way they did this. Oop, there we go. Man, if it just lost all my configurations, I'm going to be so pissed off. Um, gearing manual, inverted gearing, automatic clutch is on. Let's turn that off. Pedal type, separate. Not, God, I bet it friggin' lost everything. Alright, enough people have said this. Let's go get Jake Spades. Sorry to subject you guys to this. Bear with me. We're going to go get it right now. Jake Spades FFB for Project Cars 2. You guys might have to talk me through this. In the forums, here we go. V1.1. Download. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know if I have a damn account here. <laughs> How's that? Oh, I did it wrong. I don't want any of you hackers knowing my world. Oh, I have to register. I'm, I, you know, I don't know if it's, I had a WMD portal. Um, whoop. Sorry, guys. Oops, I hit one more. And email Sean at the simpit.com. Sean at the sim. Did I get an M? No, pit.com. Oh, I can't even read their captcha. That's nice. 9634 M. Sorry to do this to you guys. Who wants my referral? Sean, number one. Uh, last person to mention Jack Spade gets my referral. Gavin. All right, Gavin. <laughs> Don't know if you wanted that or not, but you're getting it. Time zone. Um, right there. And complete registration. Sorry, you guys. Oh, come on. Ooh, did that get me where I wanted to go? Um, no, it didn't, because I'm not in. Sorry, guys. I have read. There it is. Every, ah! Username. Hello. Hi, Greg. Is it lunch already?
Okay, sorry you guys. You asked for it. I was going to just keep going. What the heck? I already have an account. <laughs> oh, come on. This is why I didn't want to do this, guys. Sorry. Uh... I hate this kind of stuff, to be honest with you. I mean, I understand it, don't get me wrong, but it's like, at what point is enough enough? I have a ga a bazillion names. And I'm supposed to, you know, and then you end up with a million things where you've reset your password. All right, forget it. We're not doing the, the force feedback. Sorry to give up on it, you guys, but I'm not going to bore you guys with me fumbling around with websites and things. So, next time. Yeah, I know Infinity Day, but uh, enough is enough. I'm, I'm I'm not that concerned. I'm not sitting here complaining about the force feedback, to be honest with you. We can go for extra. We can go for more. But to be honest with you, and I said this at the very beginning, and I'm not trying to slam you guys, and I'm not even trying to make excuses. I gave it a quick call to try. But I test the game and things in the, in the way they give it to me. Next level stuff after the reviews when I get into things like modding, uh, somebody else's force feedback settings, things like that. So... Anyway, I, I'm not going to worry about it. And I've heard a lot of people actually not speak highly, so I'd almost want to do something on its own where I get that installed and then we can test it, turn it off, turn it on, and so on, so on. Sorry about that, you guys. I will apologize. Um, the other thing we still haven't done was I didn't find... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, AJ. I hope she gets better. I didn't find where we can actually change our competition level. Um, anyone a little help on that? Career. Where can I test? Realism. But where is... I'm much more concerned about getting a proper... Fumbling menu, I, it really makes me mad. And I might have just changed something, which just really pisses me off about their UI. Um, make you have no settings on the view list, correct? It better be, or I'm going to be, again, very quick continue career, and I can do it there. And Here you can view your career's Thank you. progress. Thank you. You can also see which no, trophies not of accolades Jack you've Spade. won, as well as what you have left to accomplish. This is also where you can set the difficulty levels for your opponents in your races. All right, career setting. Okay, opponent skill level is sixty. Goes up to one twenty. Why don't we try eighty-five? Aggression level. Let's get them up to 80. Allow restarts. I don't care about that for today's purposes. Actually, for today, I would put that on. In my normal career mode, I would say no. No, 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 Willie, I don't have anything against the Jack Spade. No, 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 no. It's not that. Thank you, though. But no, it's just that I, I don't want to waste time getting that, and it didn't. It wasn't as easy as just click and install. So I'm not going to waste your guys' time watching me download and set up an account or figure out my account that that's where i'm coming from uh so round two Watkins glenn in the same car let's go ahead and see how things are with our new settings there so no 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 i will try the jack spade force food act don't please don't misunderstand me on that <sighs> there you go kobe Ooh, we get some rain. Awesome. Go, go, go. I don't know if 
if I mapped anything from it, hit the map. Remember, be smooth on the power, gentle on the brake. Make up for those slippery conditions. I love the crew chief stuff. Not sure which version of the, the Glen. Yeah, exactly. I'll do that at another point when you guys don't have to watch me do all the installation stuff. And looks like we are running the chicane. Run that in third. Glitch right in the middle of that. But we're not going down, okay? <laughs> WMD. Yeah, I, uh, I'm wondering if it is the same account. I'm not sure. All right, we'll just do a lap to get warmed up. I didn't change the length of race, darn it. Looks like there's gonna be a two gear track. I think I'm warmed up enough. I'm not sure how fast to enter the carousel is the only thing I don't know. You feel the bumps in the road? Yep. You feel the movement in the wheel. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I forgot about the damn chicane. I guess I'm not warmed up. I started talking. I got the clutch in fast enough to uh, not stall it. Uh, I will do that as well. I just want to try out various wheels just to see how the game performs with different wheels. Do better. No, the, there were some settings I saw. Or Twelve on the board. Not a surprise after spinning it through the bus stop. Bus stop? Whoa, a little too hot. That was pretty forgiving considering we're in the rain. And I went across the grass with a wheel turn. So when we try to compare it on that sim to arcade, you know, it's got a lot more sim to it than Forza, but still, things like that remind you when comparing it to our back to Assetto or iRacing. Love this little car though, this is cool. Still 12th on the board. I think we can go to qualifying now, though.
I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom too. Um, it's our time check. How are we doing? We're still fine. Got a half an hour to go. All right, let's skip to the end. Go to qualifying. And then it still comes short of a seto to me. I like the uh, the pit lane though, where I'm waiting on him. You mean it overall or an 85 they're coming to? Oh, look, more rain than we had in practice. So we'll see how much that affects it. Kind of bogs up the top of the hill there. Gotta stay away from the wet stuff, I know that. good grip for this much rain. It's slipperier, sure. The rain effects is at, are outstanding though. Just outstanding. Gavin. Again, not a really active wheel, but it's giving you the forces of what's going on with the car. Getting a really good sensation at the minute the wheel goes light, I'm feeling it very able to do a quick reaction. Jack Spade or not. I like the light up dash because we're in the dark. windshield should be impossible to see though so the effect off the tires is outstanding but right now I've been in this scenario in real life you cannot see a thing my wind, my helmet visor would be a flood if I were that close to his rooster tails they must be leaving it in third because I'm not getting the pole he was up the hill there Bumpy, bumpy. All right, let's go ahead and end this and get into the race. I don't think we're on a world record lap. Let's go ahead and uh, play. Use the helmet cam. Uh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I like that better.
Hmm, the wheel came off. The wheel's gone. You just lost the wheel. What? Well, look, it was very easy to swerve this car in the rain. So when we start talking about comparing it to Assetto Corsa, I can't imagine. Now, there's no rain in Assetto, but I can't imagine they let us get away with that. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to go into the race. I have to take a quick pit stop myself. So... What is this, second practice? You have pole position. Lovely lap. That was untouchable. All right, let me go to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll do this race in the rain. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, you guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, that's funny, too. And yes, I have to go to the bathroom like the rest of us, especially when I spend hours streaming each day lately. All right, let's do this race. I'm excited. Now, I'm honestly, I'm going to pull over. I'm gonna, I want them to go by. Oh, it went dry for the race. Oh, this helmet cam is way cooler. Thank you. Yeah, well, I had to make it a very pit fast. Yes, I washed my hands, but at the same time, you wouldn't believe how orchestrated that pit stop was. So it just kind of goes blurry. I still prefer this view. Gives you a little bit of tunnel vision. Turn, 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 baby. Come on. A little into the grass. We have our work cut out for us. Depends. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Whoa, whoa! Awesome. You see that? That was great. Oh, that was so cool. Let me get caught back up and I'll tell you what was so cool. There was a really good head shift moment that occurred there that I love. Great effect. The other thing I really loved was the way the smoke came off the tires just at the right moment. It's like just when you want to start thinking it's more arcade, it hits you with something very simish. And right when you want to start thinking it's a sim, it does something a little on the arcadey side. Which is a really cool walk, line to walk, honestly. Ooh, that was not 
he fought me back. That was cool. I go clutch in to not stall the engine. I like that very much. Wow, not doing very well in our FR career. Last place in the first race. Running 11th in the second. What do you mean, Denka? Depends on how you evaluate the sim. There's a certain depth to Forza that for some people, I think, adds to it. Like when you get into the whole cars and, and what you can see, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think they both have their appeal. On the driving, oh, come on, I blew that. On the driving scale, I prefer Project Cars. Just straight up driving to straight up driving. Starting to rain. <laughs> I suck at times. I've looped it on this corner twice. I went way late on that one. Well, but we are driving the thing. <laughs> no, El Bucho. <laughs> oh, you are my cons guy for uh, Forza. Yeah, Angel, I didn't do anything. Um, I have my desktop and NVIDIA surround. I do have it bezel compensated. And it seems to have picked up the bezel compensation without me doing anything. It defaulted to these settings. I didn't do a thing. moments like that when you talked about the scripted I'm assuming where all I had to do was a flip to catch the slide so it slid and I had to do that intuitive thing that a driver does but did I have to actually catch the car no I just kind of had to mimic that movement is that what you're talking about because I can see that opinion being made This game in VR is incredible. Even the slip and slide, when I was doing the in the rain sliding right before we crossed the line, you could see how it was just pretty easy to keep the control of the car despite conditions that should have sent it flying. Now eventually it did fly. You yeah, haven't done any of the oval stuff yet. I agree, Forza isn't a sim. It has some sim-esque driving qualities that you'd expect from any driving game. No different than a flying game. It should have some basic principles of flight, even if it's not to that simulator level. After all, we have the same goal. We have the same goal. Hey, we're actually catching... laying down some decent laps now. The dash is blurry because I'm in the he helmet cam.
Yeah, I'd use the, uh, the engineer as well. Apparently 85 isn't quite tough enough if I really caught those guys from that kind of a gap. That water effect was awesome! He totally dirtied my windshield for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I started going to oh Finally making a comeback. Well, that was cool. That was a fun run Hopwood <laughs> We didn't even make it on the front page news But we did have a couple of uh, spins there taking us out. All right, are there any changes we need to make right now prior to moving in, with the exception to leaving the game and going into force feedback settings? Hello, Iceland. All right, I think we're going to move into race three. Sonoma, all right. It's funny, I'm seeing a certain pattern. Well, we are in the North American Championship here. But I was going to say, it seems like I've been at this, these tracks in Forza by pure coincidence. All right, we'll go do one quick lap just to uh, get a feel for things. Go, go, go. I'm almost tempted to... I stalled it. Ooh, isn't that the guy who won the last race? Okay, you know the drill. Let's get some heat into these tires. I'm not doing that for heat. I'm jokingly, I swerved it for heat, but now I'm actually just kind of... Oh, we're doing the NASCAR version. I don't know this at all. It's been a long time since I ran this version of the track. Which down are we doing here? Way to the end, right? Oh, a little too hot. That should have resulted in a wall contact and a tougher sim. Oh, awesome! <laughs> I want to replay that. Can we get a replay? What do we got to do for a replay around here? Oh, look at that. That's something that iRacing is still waiting for right there. Hello, Bakersfield. Yeah, Spatial, I enjoy career mode, to be honest with you. It just completely takes you away from the seriousness sometimes. Sorry about that noise, you guys. That's horrible. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, that looks great there. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I want a different view. No! Can't I just move this? Alright, forget it. Yeah, it did sound a little uh, F1-ish, didn't it? Alright, we're gonna skip to the end. Time check, we're doing alright. We'll do qualifying. Go, go, go! If you leave it in gear when you start the session, you will stall. <laughs> Oh, there is a pit limiter automatic. Oh, we're touching. I felt him. Wow, he's pretty aggressive. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. That didn't pain the heck out of me. I can see a disc rotor turning on this side. Oh, come on, Sean. Oh, my car's not repaired. Are they going to put me at the back? Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> I know. Paul, that bit me in the butt, didn't it? I'm all making gestures to him. All right, you guys can see that there's no wheel there or not. I see a disc rotor and no wheel on the left front of the car. You guys see this? There is no left front tire on my car. I have a spinning rotor. All right, I want to adjust this for you guys. Bear with me. Give me a moment. <laughs> now you can see. driven this car, uh, a Formula Mitsubishi 1600cc, no wing, open wheeler at this track. On the proper version, not the NASCAR version. Still don't know where that turn in is.
this game is fantastic in VR. That's a great question about the wheel missing. Number one on the board. Yeah, I think that's correct, Paul. I'm gonna put it in first. All right, that was interesting, yes. Uh, return to box, skip to end, continue to race. Uh, real quick, I should move the screen for you guys because that is not optimal for what you're doing, seeing. So let's just move this back again. And put that there. Oh, oh now I'm really making a mess of things, sorry. <laughs> That looks about right. I'm still missing my wheel. leading, I guess we need to try some other things, like, I felt the bump. Driving on the dirt doesn't seem to be that big of a penalty, but we are using a rotor, that's like an ice skate, right? Oh! <laughs> Look at some things here that I you, you gotta love. I know that was mis my mistake. I'm not trying to make up for that. We got the little cushioning brake marker moved. The wheels on the ground. Our cowls on the back. Um, that's some pretty cool stuff. Now let's see what our crew does about this. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that if I can get my hands on one. This is exactly what Sonoma looks like, by the way. Is this me? Now that wheel really is missing, I think. Hello, Crazy Dan. Pit crew. Did I go right by it? Alright, let's restart this race real quick. Will it let us? That's something I haven't really tested out either. Alright, we can try to return to pit and see if that happens. Retire to pit box. <laughs> yeah, my car is kind of a mess there, Dan. Let's see what it does here. Is this all the way back to practice one?
up rear. Way slipperier than without tires. They just get in line, that kind of sucks. Yeah, Sonoma. Yeah, we're still missing that left front wheel, aren't we? I wonder if that gives me any extra clearance with him. That's P5, keep it on those mirrors, but keep pushing, catch the leaders. Oh, I went to fifth gear. I don't have a fifth gear in this car. Whoa, come on. Got bumped from behind.
They made me earn it. <laughs> I still can't get over that though. All right, that was great. That was a, a really nice version of Sonoma. Uh, I've not driven the NASCAR version in person in real life, but I've seen it on TV. Everything else felt pretty good. I, it, it gave that real environmental feel. You definitely knew you were in Sonoma. And I'm not sure if William's still here in the broadcast, but he lives up in that area. And this is exactly what the topography and the terrain of that region look like. So my hat's off for them there. I, I, you know, if you just dropped me off, I would have instantly known where I was in the world based on, you know, I actually used to live up there. I uh, went to Russell Racing School there. So I uh, spent a year of my life in Sonoma. Anyway, that was cool. There we are. We got our front left tire back, I see. Or wheel. It was more than the tire. It was the entire wheel. Uh, worked up a little sweat on that one, even. So, all right. Let's see what happens. Is that the third or fourth race? Yeah, we have one more to go. Shoot. I was hoping that was the end. 12.05. I actually wanted to wrap things up about right here. And... At this point, we are second in the points, despite that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next race. Where are we at? Texas infield. I don't know this course at all. I've never driven this variation of the track. Um, I think we're just going to go right to race on this one. And I'll just have to use them to learn the track. And then we'll bring this particular one. Sergio, it's my lunchtime too. See you later. Thanks you, thank you for joining the stream. And uh, we'll do one more race. See how it finishes the end of one series. And then we'll move on from there. Um, it's being a little funny right now about loading. It says 56 and it has for a while. I wonder if we have a lockup. Did you mean that kind of crash? The big one? Still cycling the message on the left, which makes me think it's going. It's not loading, though. We're at 56%. So we seem to be crashed. I noticed it did a little popover glitch where the menus weren't really where they belonged. So let's go ahead and... Oh, hey, look at that. I was just being impatient, I guess. Oh, I might have clicked off the screen and it forgot what I was doing. So, let's... Why is it not letting us do anything? Put it in a neutral so I don't stall it, because the second you hit start... Two big turnarounds and a little wiggle in the middle. That's right, I said it. Wiggle in the middle. Oh, sorry, very rude, very rude. Just a beginner, sorry.
Texas infield. Look at that! You see the car kick down? That was great. <laughs> I love it. aggressive with me they just kind of seem to stay in their line
try to get inside before I gotta get him on that. Got a shot at him. Good job, that's me too. Keep it up. Fastest second sector. Great driving, mate. Begging me to do more. That did the championship efforts, and that should be the end of our Formula Rookie season. One. The orange car back on top again. Oh, it looks like we didn't get it, though. As you can hear, Max is very excited for us. Boy. And that looks like that just opened up the Euro Championship, so that's how we did continue along on our career here on Project Cars 2. So, <coughs> excuse me, Max, hey buddy. So, where we're at, uh, had a lot of fun, breaking a sweat, because when you get into the good racing, it gets really intense. I'd like to see more racing out of the AI, but I'm more concerned about how they race me than how they race each other. So if I had to error, I would take what they've given me, which it seems like they're in that train or just that constant run of the same order of cars, and then you come along and you are the variable or the, the factor. So, uh, But I don't mind the fact that they did it that way. Um, certainly had to do some work. There were some moments where mistakes led to big problems. They either had to restart or crash the car or fell all the way to the back, even in an unrecoverable position in one case. So... Um, there was a certain amount of challenge to it that was running it at 85% on a level and 80% aggression. So I did find that to be uh, a, a good point. I still need to crank up their level a little bit, maybe up to 90 next time. I was able to go from the back to the front with a little too much ease. But in five laps, that was still a tall order. And part of me sweating is the intensity of trying to work my way all the way through the grid without just blatantly knocking everybody out of my way, which can be done, but there was enough damage model and and real-life conditions associated with it that if you just took that, oh, I'm going to smash them every time, I don't know if you'd finish a race. Maybe get away with it once or twice in the right circumstances, but you couldn't just plow your way through the grid all the way to the front. Like the way it was stalling out the motor, so when I was, uh, you know, in gear, when it started, it would stall. Or if I did spin out, if I didn't get the clutch in, it would stall out the engine. I like that. We did see some missed shifts. So there is a certain amount of things, a certain amount of things going on in the gearbox, and that's good as well. I had a really good time. I mean, on that scale, Forza Grand uh, versus Project Cars, I mean, they're distinctly different games. And I, I mean, I'm clearly going to give some of the career mode aspects, some of the graphics aspects, and um, some of the visual stuff in general over to Forza. This is definitely a little more simmy, a little bit more realistic a driving model, but still not quite to that level of Assetto Corsa. But then look at the graphics here. Look at that rain effect and some other things that we have going on that you're not going to find in R Factor 2 Assetto Corsa or iRacing just yet. I know that's the kind of stuff all those guys are working on, but they're chasing the game side of things. They're chasing these guys with the weather effects and the fun factor. Meanwhile, these guys are chasing the simulator guys, trying to get it a little more realistic. And even if you think Forza is gamey, there is a certain amount of realism built into it. And they are striving to get in that direction, coming from this basis of wow factor and incredible graphics and incredible car collection versus your iRacing, which is coming from this, hey, we have a limited amount of content, but man, it's 
perfect. And it runs so simulated out that, like, real teams are using it, and you can use MoTeC and all the data and all that kind of stuff. But where are they in comparison to Forza when it comes to graphics? That, that perfect hybrid. And I'm going to do a show soon coming up, and I want all your guys' opinion on it. We'll do this on a sim tunnel where we talk about making pizza. We talk about making the ultimate sim out of slices of pizza from each sim. So maybe I would take the graphics from Assetto Corsa. Maybe I would take the competition model from iRacing, put them all together to make a perfect pizza or a perfect sim. So that is the way I look at it. And when I look at this, I'm not sure which slices of the pie uh, Project Cars offers at this point. Uh, it's in contention for a few of the different slices, that's for sure. But overall, I've had fun. Overall, for the amount of money, if you're looking for a good driving game with some entertainment, you're going to enjoy the game. There's enough quality stuff. Even if you even, even if you acknowledge some flaws or things that you wanted out of it that it doesn't supply, the amount of things it did give you or does give you, I think are actually really good. But keep it in perspective. If you're looking for the next iRacing, the next Assetto Course Project uh, R Factor 2, this is not it. But if you are looking for something with a lot more fun going on, the ability to just jump in and bang around with the the AI drivers, I, I've been very impressed with this and Forza, I have to say. And I would absolutely recommend it to friends who are trying to get into sim racing or friends that I'm trying to get into sim racing because I think they'd have a lot of fun driving these, enjoying the cars, enjoying the sounds, enjoying the rain, but having it in a way that's actually drivable to them instead of nearly impossible like it is in real life. So anyway, that is going to do it for today's stream. I got to go eat lunch and get some other things going here uh, before I get out of town. Tomorrow, I will be back at 9 a.m. for our Sim Racing News, the uh, pit stop. We'll be here at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for that. Uh, that will be my last show before I go out of town once again. So I'll be out of town um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'll be back Tuesday morning with a new pit stop, and we'll get right back into the rotation of all things uh, Sim Pit related. Also, I guess I'll have to wait until Tuesday to make my official announcement on Sim Racing System, but I'd like you guys to turn out Thursday and Friday night without me, run that race, the final race of the season in the Porsche, and then next season we will be talking about what we're going to run, but I want you all to get into Sim Racing System so you can run with us next, system, next season, regardless of what we end up picking cars and tracks. But that'll all happen very quickly with me getting out of here for uh, a short week uh, working vacation having fun on the east coast so anyway i hope you enjoyed today's str stream i hope you've enjoyed the the previous streams with project cars 2 and forza 7 i wanted you guys to see me a play it i know a lot of you guys are already doing it i'll work on the force feedback we'll try out that and do some other stuff when i return just kind of having fun. I want you guys to see the mentality I approach, the things I look for. And when I'm telling you that here I am, Sean Cole, the sim racing elitist, why I love Project Cars 2, I have a long list of reasons. And I want you guys to see how I get to that point before I just come out and tell you, before everybody's like, oh, come on, you can't say that. This isn't a real sim. And no, I want you to know why I think it is and why I think it isn't and what kind of experiences I've had to formulate those opinions so hopefully you have the same thoughts no i don't care that you have the same thoughts hopefully you have your own opinion on project cars 2 and forza 7 after watching these videos and playing it yourself and in a couple weeks maybe we'll just sit down and compare notes on all those things for now this is the sim pit i'm sean cole and i'll see you on the track